That's so cool. Yeah, you feel a huge heat burst when you go through it. That's awesome. Hello and welcome back to another Reality Check VR video. I hope you guys are excited about this one because I am super excited to be showing you something that I just got in the mail today by Whirlwind FX. That's right, this is the Vortex. If you're not sure what this is, it is basically a 4D environmental simulator. Um, it allows you to feel what you see and what you hear in your video games or your favorite videos. Uh, so it, it somehow plugs into your sound, I believe, and then from that it, it uses some kind of an algorithm to give you either hot or cold air, you know, at, at your face, which is just, you know, going to allow you to feel immersed in those experiences. So I'm really excited to try it out for myself. I've never ha had the ability to try it out uh, yet. This is my first time actually taking a look at it right now. A big thanks to Whirlwind Effects for sending me one of their prototype devices. I do have to send this guy back to them in a couple days, so we're going to go ahead and probably do a, a series of tests with it, but this is going to be the unboxing and the preliminary tests where I at least watch some videos and, and get to experience what the device can do for you. Feel the action. Vortex is the world's first 4D environmental simulator made for all your gaming and video adventures. It simulates virtual effects such as wind and fire to bring you the ultimate and immersive experience. Imagine being able to feel the impact and heat of the battlefield explosions in Overwatch, or the rush of air as you accelerate and pass objects in Forza. With Vortex, you won't just see and hear the action, you'll feel it. Alright, so let's get started. If I go ahead and open up the first piece here, it looks like they uh, sent me a little letter, so I'm going to go ahead and open up that real quick. Hi Caleb, we appreciate you taking the time to test Vortex and giving us feedback. Here are a couple things to note and how to get started. First, you must download the software, okay? Also, you must start the software. Plug in the Vortex to the power outlet. Connect it to the PC with a USB cable. The Vortex engine should automatically recognize the device. Press the power button above the dial to turn it on. Lastly, close the Vortex engine window. It will continue to run in the background. Gotcha. We recommend placing the Vortex unit to the left or right of your monitor. It should face you at an angle. All right, rather than straight on at your face, they're saying it should come at you from an angle. So it shouldn't be plowing you, it should be Hitting you from the, that's actually perfect because that's what I plan on doing with it. You do not want the device to be more than three or four feet away. Aim the nozzle at your chest or your face for optimal performance. So right in this area, yep, yep, you know. Don't aim it above your head and don't aim it down below. Just right, right in here, okay guys? Simple as that. Vortex works with any games or video that you have at your disposal. For gaming, we would suggest to use third-person perspectives. Our favorite titles are Battlefield, Doom, Battlefront, Call of Duty, and Overwatch. We encourage you to try mini games and let, you, let us know how they work. There may be some hiccups along the way. These are prototypes, so let them know. Of course, they do appreciate the feedback. All right, thanks, Whirlwind Effects. Appreciate that. The first thing I see in there is I, I've got a I've got a T-shirt here. Yeah, Whirl. Oh, Whirlwind VR. That's, that's pretty cool. That's Whirlwind VR. I didn't even know they had a virtual reality shirt, but that's pretty sweet. Anytime you give somebody a t-shirt, you just brownie points. A return label for shipping it back. And the device itself. All right, here we go. Let's take a look and see what we got inside. Very well padded in here. All right, we've got the Vortex here. Okay, so this is a prototype device right here. It's made out of kind of an interesting composite material, but there is a power button. There is a dial right here, it looks like, uh, as well as I've got a power cable with the back. There is a, what looks like a speaker grill, probably where they have the air ventilation. And of course, you've got your USB plug-in right there. So the device is fairly simple looking. It, it, you know, it would it would fit on your desktop without looking too creepy. <laughs> so that's one nice thing about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this guy in and see if we can't get some results. It's pretty epic. Yes, nothing's really coming out of it right now. Yeah, it's definitely getting very warm as soon as we start seeing those uh, explosions happen. Yeah, and you can kind of smell it too a little bit. You can smell the warmth. <laughs> oh yeah, and the heat of the battle. I think this is much more for the feeling the heat of the battle. So that definitely it cools down quite a bit. I can I can feel the temperature difference there. Ooh, that's cool. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. 
sometimes it gets you with like a, a really cool breeze and then the cool breeze turns into a warm one right when the explosion happens and that really works that really works well i like that nothing really happens Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. You can just feel a rush of kind of air hitting you. It's kind of cool how it actually happens, too. It kind of comes at you in waves. Oh, wow, that's really warm. Yeah, that's warm. When it shows a lot of fire on screen, it gets really warm. That is certainly pretty cool. That is certainly very, very cool right there. So there are some tools right here. There's some screen visualizers to kind of see how to do the algorithms, I guess. Uh, spectrogram, there is a spectrogram that's constantly happening. All right guys, so here we go. We're playing Just Cause 3. We've got the Vortex here right next to me, the 4D environmental simulator. And uh, what's happening so far is I'm actually hitting the gas and like that, I'm actually feeling a nice blast of warm air hitting me, which is pretty cool. So uh, you can kind of feel your speed in a sense, that's for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and get up in a fight if I can. And, uh, oh no! I haven't played this game in a long time. Yep. Best idea I've had all yep. day. Yep, that was a nice blast of warm air. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. I haven't played this game in a long time, actually, so. Alright, we're ahead to you now. Yeah! Choppers are inbound, guys. Choppers are inbound. Oh, shoot. I gotta get out of here. They're on me. It's still warm right now. Woo! Oh! Oh, no. The gas station. gonna come over here and 
Oh, crap. Oh. That is not what I meant to do. That... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Watch out! <laughs> yeah, you certainly feel those things. Let it blow! Boom! Next time, put up something with less mustache. Run! Gunfire! Get ready for the distraction of the century! If you have everybody on your back and you must get away, how can you get away? What do you do? Do you shoot something? Do you make a diversion? How do you get away? You create a diversion. Create a diversion. Create the diversion of the century. Yeah. Woo! Oh. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video of the Vortex unboxing and uh, quick playthrough. Uh, I really am enjoying it. I mean, I'm having a lot of fun. It, it doesn't take away from the game in the sense that the game just plays like normal, but when something is fierce happening, when some intense battles are actually going on, um, I do feel the blasts hitting me, and that is certainly more immersive than not. Um, I really am looking forward to getting to try this with uh, VR and some VR games such as War Thunder and, uh, and, and more in the future, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But this is the, the end of this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello and welcome back to. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to. <laughs> I don't know that. Hello and welcome back to another reality check. We are video. <laughs>